It's hot, dry, and dusty in the desert country of southeastern Washington. But here at Brochi Orchards, cherry trees create an emerald canopy. It's 4,400 lush acres on a bend in the Columbia River. All you can see of the cherry pickers are their feet on tall aluminum ladders. Their bodies and faces are hidden up in the leaves, but you can hear the 12-foot ladders shifting and the soft thud of cherries in buckets. And if you stand here long enough, a surprise. Vestida de blanco, llegaste a la iglesia. Ibas muy contenta con rumbo al altar. Many of these migrant workers Ibas sing to pass the time. Del brazo de ese hombre, el que te ha jurado este amor que hoy se va. Francisco Suarez is 32 and from Michoacan, Mexico. Even though he's lost three fingers on his right hand, he's still a fast cherry picker. He says he misses his mother and father who are back in Mexico, but singing helps him feel closer to them. Nearby is Angelica Rocha Silva. She has a young, open face. Her fingers are wrapped in medical tape to protect them from the rough branches. She comes halfway down the ladder to talk. Um, no. Pues sí, de mi primer novio. She says she sings to remember her first boyfriend. He stayed in Mexico, but she came here after college to look for work. That was three years ago. Picking cherries is one of the best paying agricultural jobs in the Northwest, but it's still dangerous, just a few feet from where we're standing. A young woman named Maria falls from her ladder. An ambulance takes her to the hospital. She's now recovering at home. Nearby, the singing stops, but the cherry picking continues. The workers take few breaks. They're not paid by the hour. They're paid by how much they pick. Another worker, Jose Fernando Marchado Beltran, says singing helps him get through any sadness and these long, hot days in Barochi orchards. I'm Anna King in Richland, Washington.